KBOOM 108, where we're right and they are wrong. Aren't we, Mike? Yes. On the Mike and David show. Aren't we full? I mean, aren't we full? Aren't I, we I, as a country? F- I'm not oh, you personally. Right, I was going to say, I haven't had any lunch. You haven't had any lunch. I I am, there's a nice spread. There's some uh, bagels and schmears out there. Right, but, I, but we're not full. No. Not by a long shot. Absolutely we can not. always eat. Absolutely. But we as a country, aren't we as a country full already, full of everything, including shit? Filled to bursting, Don't you say. think? Yeah. I yeah. mean, so it brings to, to mind the question of what do we do about these illegal immigrants? I mean, as you sit there and you, you watch the Stillwater television news, you listen to Jack in the newsroom to, doing the news, we, we are run over. We're inundated with these people that aren't from here. Right. And yet those very same people want to use our schools. They want to use our social services. They want to use our bathrooms. They want to... Has that happened to you, too? I, I have. There's oftentimes I'll be standing outside, and there will be uh, 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 someone inside with the door locked. Comes out. It's like a family of nine. What are you doing in there? Washing up? Get out of there. I know. It's like they're using the wash basin as a shower. Don't understand it. I don't get it. So... And do, actually, those people, do those people always travel in packs of like yes. nine and ten? Yes. I see a car, and uh, you know, inevitably there's those uh, little. Uh, it's got little balls hanging off the mirror, and uh-huh. then it's got uh, you know the pa da da ta horn, and then there's like forty seven <laughs> dudes in that I'm car. Sorry, what kind of horn? The pa da da ta. Uh huh. I'm not sure if that's uh, what that means. It's just that seems to be the tune that they enjoy. And I don't know where they're coming from. I don't care where they're coming from. I just know that they're coming here, and I'd they like are to know illegal. where they're going. Quite frankly, I can well, tell you that. You'd like to know where they're going? Yeah, I don't care where they're from, but I'd like to know where they're going at all times. We need to keep an eye on these people. Really? Well, yeah, because they are coming here, and they're they're screwing it up, for lack of a better term. They're screwing it up for the rest of us. I don't want to go bare fisted, you know, bare knuckle on everybody, but let's be honest: these people are making our country a worse place to live. Mm. I think we need some sort of controls. Now, I know we have them in place. They're being roundly ignored by the people coming over the border, especially by those people from Norway. Oh. I don't know how they're getting across the polar ice cap, you know, using some sort of mucklucks and no. dog sleds and whatever, but them coming in. I'll those... tell you, i got to be honest. There's nothing worse than walking through. I'll, I walk through Center uh, Stillwater, and you walk through the park. Mm. You'll come upon, there's a, a couple of blonde guys in, like, wooden shoes, Eating creamy fish mm-hmm. out of a jar? Yeah, not interested. No, I, I, it kind of get, and they got a, and they got like big, thick walrus type mustaches, and that creamy fish is like stuck in there. Yeah, like, and, and I don't know if that's it's like for a little later. for later. Oh, it's horrifying. You know, that's yeah. what they're saying. Oh, that's a little for later. Yeah. I've heard him. Get, I've a, heard get, him. A, get a napkin, Leif, and learn English. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've heard uh, that's a little for later. You yeah, know, that's uh, too many vowels in that. Sentence. Absolutely, I don't get it. So then, I then I have a proposal. I have a modest proposal. Now, is this just for the Norwegians, or is this for everybody? I think this is for everybody across okay. the board. All right. Look, you can. I believe that no matter how you get into this country, if you get into this country illegally, you need to be called for it. You need to be called on it, and you need to pay, be made to pay. And I've got, I, I believe me, I've got a laundry list of things. But first and foremost, I think we chip the immigrants. Chip them? Yes, we chip the immigrants. Do you know what that, you know what that term is, chipping? No, I, I mean, I, I, I'm thinking of, like, chipping ice. Like no, no, no. With no. a chisel. Implanting a chip. Oh, inside, you know, like uh, in the back of the neck or uh, in the forearm or maybe in the bicep. Although I do not want in any way, shape or form to have any illegal immigrants lifting power uh, to be in any way, shape or form uh, 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 limited. Impeded. Yeah, I impeded, see. limited. So maybe the bicep isn't a great idea, but somewhere back okay. of the neck, shoulder, something that can be scanned easily. Now, are you proposing we do this to the people that are here now or just all of the new entries? Oh, no, people that are here now, in particular the people that are here now, so we know where they are. I mean, one of the problems we have with illegal immigration is they are everywhere. True. I see them at Freckle Bitches. I see them at Novin dropping off a jalopy. Yeah. I, I, I see them. I, I see them. Where else do I see them? I see them in Saints Row all the time. I mean, who knows any, how many of those people are, are legal? Yeah, and that, that does, doesn't seem fair because there's that uh, gang... There's the uh, Los Carnales gang. Yes. Is that the Carnales? Los Carnales, yes. Yeah. And it, that doesn't seem fair to the other gangs that these guys just keep getting replenished with new uh, cannon yeah. powder. Yeah. You know what it is? It's like, it's like playing one of those games when you were a kid, when you were playing the board games, and you had all the money. 
Yeah, you, you had all the soldiers. You had all the all, all the tanks and the and the special white chips that 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 got you in further into their strategic area. I I, I just I have a feeling. Are you saying that these immigrants have sank your battleship? You know, as a matter of fact, I am. Oh. I think figurative, figuratively and literally, our battleship has been sunk because we are burdened. We are overburdened. Our system is overburdened. Our schools are overburdened. The fact that when I go down to Stillwater DMV oh, and I have to pick and nightmare. choose, pick and choose which of the pamphlets that I am going to read to get my, uh, you know, my, my uh, good driver certificate or whatever to get my license renewed. I'm going to review all this stuff. I have to leave through 90 pages of, of every language in the known universe until I get to English. Yeah. What's that all about? Yeah. Give me a break. Yeah. All because we're servicing these illegal immigrants. Yeah. And, and, I mean, I don't even know how you would say parallel parking and tiling ease. Yeah, I don't either. Because these people are driving yaks. Yeah. yeah. How, what do they yeah. know? So, so my problem here is this. If we, and my solution. I have a problem and I have a solution. Okay. So I'm not just I'm not just stating the problem like some of some of the other radio stations here in town that yap on about this. They stuff. They throw stuff out there and then they're like, "We want to hear what you think about it." Call us because they have no solutions. Yeah, they're no. just they're we don't just care throwing what you think. stuff against the wall. We 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 don't want to know what you think. No, we'll tell you what we'll to tell think. you what to think Absolutely. exactly. So so I believe that the problem is we don't know where these illegal immigrants are. We don't know their paths as they come into the country. I, say, I, have to, I have to stop you. Yes. I think we know where they are. We do? Everywhere. We see them Everywhere. all over the place. We don't know where they're going or where they end up. That's the thing. Like at night, who knows where they're at? They Scurrying like off a, under some rock. They have like a Los Clubhouse somewhere. Los, Los Clubhouse. Yes. Yes. Where they're in there and they've got their, you know, their, uh, their regiment of the eye and they're hitting a gavel and then they're deciding what to do about us. <laughs> I don't Regiment like it. of the Eye. It's, it's, uh, it's Are a you club. a member of one of those secret societies? I may have heard of something on the internet about those uh, Regiment of the Eyes. Okay, fine. We need to know where they are. I agree. And yes, they're everywhere, but we need to know specifically where, where they're they going, are. Where, where they're, they're going. Located, yeah. where, they're, where their headquarters is. Right. So, yeah, sneak into our country. If we find you, we have one of those special guns. We snap a uh, we snap a chip into your neck. Yeah, boom. Period. Like a zip gun. Now, and this is only because our leaders are not willing to pick these people up by the scruffs of their necks and kick their little tushies back to whatever country they came from. You know, they're too concerned with uh, offending people and hurting yeah. people's feelings and losing childcare. Yes, and it's... gardening. Oh, and sure. Pool cleaning. Yeah, and yeah. orange selling and taquerias and what? What else? What else are we in danger of losing? Oh, the the milky creamy fish guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, not yeah. a fan. Uh, yeah. But, but uh, there are some people, you know, who get into that sort of thing. I suppose. Uh. I don't understand it. I think that if we can track them, if we know where they're going, what they're doing, we can, in fact, turn this whole thing around. We can turn this whole immigration thing around. We need an FIA. FIA. A Federal Immigration Authority. That can monitor the traffic and make sure there's no bumping and, and uh, bumping into, like the planes. Oh, so like, you know, like minimize a GPS, the, like you'll have a, yeah. a screen. Right. And uh, you'll have like a little blip with a sombrero going around. You'll sure. Know where they're a at, where sombrero they're at. if they're from Mexico. Sure. Right? Uh, uh, something with a ski if they're from Norway. Yeah, a, a big brush mustache. I would say yes. like a big... Yes. Yeah, just I'm a with you. big mustache. I hear you. Just sure. an icon of some sort. That a little maple leaf, like a little maple leaf. For the Canadians. Canadian sneaking yeah. around. Sure. Absolutely. So we do that. And a half-eaten dog, if you're uh, uh, from one of those fine places where they go ahead the and Asian consume countries? our pets. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't get me started on that. If these people refuse to put in these chips, we just make it worse for them. We outfit them with shock collars. Hmm? Wow, I like it. You know, if you're not going to take a little chip under the skin, you're not going to go a little subcutaneous, great. That's then fine. You, you have a new fashion accessory, my friend. That's what I say. Now, so they, they get a shock collar. Let me ask you something. Where, uh, in theory, the shock collar needs a source, a power source that they can't, like a border they can't cross uh, in order for it to be activated, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. So would you... Oh, like, no, no. Uh, we're not trying to keep anybody in a yard. You mean like one of those invisible fences? Yeah, that's what no. I mean. Is that what you mean? No, because we're not going to do that. You said it yourself very well. They're like cockroaches. They're everywhere. Oh, sure. We're not going to stop that. We're just going to know where they are. And what I, pr what I propose is that we give... All of the white people that are here in town and the immigrants and the immigrants that are here legally. Legal immigrants. We give them the ability to plug in a joystick into their personal computers. We make a website. We show where these people are teaming all around the city, wherever they are. 
you can take your mouse and click on somebody and give them a quick zap. What do you think, huh? This enough of that. Enough of that. They don't have to be even doing anything no. wrong. No. Because they're just doing something wrong they by be, being here. They could be selling oranges. Yeah. They could be selling oranges. All of a sudden, you've got hot orange juice. Because, pfft, like yeah, that. Guy with a gift squeeze, because you can yes. throw a nice 200 volts. Throw. Yes. I like you it. hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I'm now, this will teach these people. Don't fuck with us. And it would only take, uh, well, although these people never learn. I was going to say it would only take a few of them to get the shot collar. Yeah. And then they'd go, you know what? Give me the chip. Give me the chip. But now, i got to be honest with you. These people don't learn. They would try to find some way to incorporate. You know what they would do? Yeah. They would, uh, they would find a way to, like, uh, come up behind a white guy and, and tackle him and hope to get shocked while they were holding the guy and then shocking him in turn. Like so it would be sort of like the international jujitsu? Yes. Sort of internet. Wow. Sort mm. of like a, almost like a mutant superpower of sorts. They would, they would find a way. They would be in cahoots with the uh, underbelly, like the, the white underbelly of this country. Because let's oh. be honest, not all the white the people trash. are good. Yeah, those people, yeah. they would find a way Trailer to like, pay them off to locate them with the joystick. Yeah. And then they would go in and rob a store. Like They would hold on to a clerk by the throat oh. and then zap and then take it. So this is rife with problems. Well, but again, it's, we're spitballing it. <sighs> we could work this out easily. We can, and I think we will. You're listening to KBoom 108 where we're right and they're wrong. Mike and David, and let, let's try it from the other way. Rather than the stick, let's talk about a carrot. Okay. I was talking with some people about this the other day, and somebody, I don't know who I stole it from, but somebody came up with Jingo, a new organization. Jingo. I'm like, Jingo. I like that. Sounds like a lottery game. Sounds like a little game you play with wooden pieces. You try and build a tower. Oh, who that's knows? a good game. You know. But here's what Jingo stands for. Jobs... For immigrants, not geeks overseas. Now, one would argue that there's an extra F in there for the word for, but that's sort of a throwaway word. So just roll with me on this. Yeah, Jobs be- for immigrants, not geeks overseas. Here's what we do. We take all these illegal immigrants, we round them up and all this yammering about offshoring and, and uh, you know, jobs leaving the country and going, hello, may I help you? You know, we put these people in a great big warehouse here in Stillwater. We run thousands of phone lines into this warehouse. Hundreds of toll-free numbers for every every company that, that work anywhere in the country wants to take, take advantage of that. We stick these people in there. We give them the same scripts that they're using overseas and we turn Stillwater into the call center of America. Wow. Hmm? You think big? What do you think? You think big. That's what I think. It's manageable. It's, it's, we know it's where e- they are. We know where they are. It's efficient. And while they're in this building, the shock collars aren't operating. So it's a sort of a draw. It's a, instead of a stick, it's a carrot. Come carrot. eat my carrot. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I hear you. Here's my question. Yes. Who teaches these people to read? You said there's scripts involved. They're going to need to handle uh, an in. Uh, the volume of calls coming in will be from Americans who speak English. Who's going to teach these uh, puddin' heads from, you know, other places? Puddin' heads? Well, you know what I'm saying. Uh, Is that a technical uh, term? Sure. Okay. It's kind of like a whistle head. Gotcha. Who's going to teach them how to read? Because we know that these people can't read. Or else they'd see the sign that says, stay out. What if we made the scripts all pictographs? All pictures. And then they could say... Take the round circle with the little circle inside it and put it on the cup-shaped piece of plastic that slides in and out of your computer. What do you think? That might work. That's about as good as you get from overseas anyway. Heck, that's as good as you get from some people here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and these people, and they'll be working toward... Hey, oh, I got it. What? I got it. They read their own language, don't they? Sure. Let's go to their countries. Let's outsource back to the U.S. Let's go to their countries and say, hey, you've got personal computers here in San Salvador and Mexico and Canada and Norway, right? We've got people in Stillwater that speak your language, my friend. Huh? So a little reverse. Call your toll-free number. Yeah. A little osmosis. Yeah. Hmm. Let's take advantage of the fact that we have all these illegal immigrants here. Let's put them to work. back. And, and you know what? They're sending all their money back there anyway. True. Right. Yeah, yeah that we're funding them. Essentially, our economy funds their economy uh, yeah. uh, illicitly. Yeah. Why, through, why, through why are we doing that? Well, let's do it. Hey, look, let, let's do it, and let's get benefit as well. Because when uh, Mr. and Mrs. Overseas Illegal Immigrant leaves the building, they're still going to buy themselves some clothes. 
from Stefan. They're going to buy themselves a car from Vinny, my friend Vinny over at Novin. They're going to they're going to spend their money. Now, they're, what they're not doing is they're not taking showers. Well, let me, let but, me backtrack. Let me, I have to stop you. All right. They're not going to buy clothes from Stefan. They could not possibly afford that. They're going to go to Sloppy Seconds and pick up some clothes there. All right. Secondly. But it's money into the economy. Let me, let me play uh, devil's advocate here. Oh, let me, here let me we throw go. some danger. Here we go. This is the danger of your plan. I all like right, your plan. All right, fine. All right. But here's something that could go wrong, and, and tell me how we fix it. We outsource to the other countries. That means people from that country are calling here and getting their, their fellow countrymen Who've made it? I see where country. you're going. I see where you're going. Go so ahead. So we we don't know what these people are saying. No, they're going to have some sort of code that right. they're going to throw back to their old country, right? And maybe even provide them with a blueprint of how to sneak into this country so because could, they've obviously done it successfully. It could actually make the problem worse. I think you're actually inviting. Uh, I don't want to say anarchy, but you're certainly inviting an uprising. 